Welcome to the Know It All for February 27th. I'm Meg Turney, and this week we've got an NVIDIA lawsuit, another GTA 5 delay, and a big win for net neutrality. Let's get started with video game news. Another big setback for members of the PC Master Race who are hoping to play GTA 5 like ever, as the game has been delayed once again, this time to April 14th. Rockstar cited a need to further polish the title as the reason for the delay, but we've heard that one before. There was more GTA 5 excitement to be had as details surrounding the highly anticipated edition of Heist were leaked this week. A GTA 5 superfan who goes by the name of FunMW2 posted details about weapons, gear, and vehicles expected to accompany the new mode, including that some of those goods could be exclusive to last-gen consoles, and that last-gen consoles are apparently getting one more heist than current-gen. What the hell? That could all change by the time heists finally come out, supposedly on March 10th, but hey, if it's true, what do you guys think about that? Let us know in the comments of this video. The emotional masochists over at Telltale Games announced this week that the movie giant Lionsgate had made a significant investment in the company. That money will allow Telltale to create what they're calling a super show, which is being described as a television show video game hybrid, and will tell the story of a brand new original Telltale IP. We don't have any details on what that original IP is just yet, but I believe I speak for everyone who's ever played at least one episode of The Walking Dead game when I say shut up and take my money. Speaking of taking people's money, a listing was posted in the Windows Game Store last weekend for the indie hit Darkest Dungeon with a price tag of just $3.99. Since the game normally retails for $19.99, it was pretty obvious something was amiss, especially because the game's creator was listed as Balaji Chowdhury on the posting and not the actual developer Red Hook Studios. Also, the download was only 2 megabytes. Well, turns out the listing was, surprise surprise, a scam and has since been removed. We had a good helping of entertainment and tech news this week, so we're going to wrap up games for now. But before we do, be sure to check out this week's episode of The Patch, where Gus was away and the mice... Well, the mice veered off topic for like 75% of the show, and we somehow started talking about sex pigeons. If you'd rather avoid sex pigeons and talk about esports this week on the leaderboard, Jared and I discussed the legal troubles facing Twitch and Azubu as they fight over faker gameplay and why Piglet's warming the bench now. Alright, it's time to talk Oscars over at Movies and TV. Last Sunday was the 87th Annual Academy Awards, and between the whole awkward John Travolta, Scarlett Johansson weird kiss thing, and Lady Gaga's amazing Sound of Music performance, people actually took home awards! The Grand Budapest Hotel took home four statues, including accolades for achievement in makeup and hairstyling and best production design, but the big winner of the night was Birdman, which won Best Original Screenplay and Best Picture. Julianne Moore picked up the Best Actress Award for her role in Still Alice, and Eddie Redmayne took home Best Actor for his portrayal of Stephen Hawking in The Theory of Everything. I have to say before we wrap up Oscars that that clip of Michael Keaton putting the piece of paper back in his jacket after he lost is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. From one disappointment to another, a fan film called Power Slash Rangers was released this week and promptly smushed off the web amid copyright concerns. The gritty reimagining of the Power Rangers universe was initially posted to Vimeo and YouTube, where it took the web by storm, but after a DMCA claim was made against the film on Vimeo by the series creator, it was pulled from the video sharing site. Eventually, that also happened on YouTube, and the film's writer and director, Joseph Kahn, took to Twitter to defend his work, saying because he wasn't making any money off of it and because it didn't utilize any pre-existing footage, it should be allowed to be shown. He likened his film to drawing something on a napkin and showing it to a friend, but that didn't actually impress the copyright holder and for now we'll all just have to settle for watching repostings of it. Pop superstar Lady Gaga announced this week that she'd be joining the cast of American Horror Story in a short video posted to her Twitter in which she's seen wearing some sort of black shiny object thing covering her face and chest. She also announced in the short that the series subtitle, which changes from season to season, will be Hotel this time around. Fans of the show, which contains completely autonomous storylines each season, are now speculating that she could replace Jessica Lange, who starred in each of the show's four previous seasons, but that is completely unconfirmed. Alright, let's wrap things up with tech and science news. NVIDIA found itself in a world of trouble this week after the tech giant was slapped with a class action lawsuit. The suit alleges that the company lied to consumers about the GeForce GTX 970 after users discovered that after utilizing 3.5 of the GPU's 4 gigs, the card's performance takes a nosedive. NVIDIA responded to those allegations, restating that the card is indeed a 4 gig card and that the downturn in performance is actually a feature 
sure that they simply forgot to explain to their internal marketing team or anyone else who bought the card. I don't really think the, oh, we totally meant to do that thing is going to go well in court, but that remains to be seen. In a big step forward for net neutrality, the FCC passed regulations yesterday to classify the internet as a utility under Title II of the Communications Act. The move forbids ISPs from giving companies preferential treatment in exchange for a fee, making so-called internet fast lanes a big no-no, and bars them from throttling users' web speeds as well. It also includes protections for mobile networks for the first time, so you can say bye-bye to AT&T throttling your mobile browsing speed just because you like to watch that Yes Cat Vine like 100 times a day. Yes. Of course, the regulations will invariably be tested in court, so the fight's not over just yet. That's all the tech news this week, but you can get more awesome Rooster Teeth content all week long by watching the RT Podcast on Monday night, The Patch on Wednesdays, and a live stream of this show Fridays at 1. And before we go, we want to share a very sad, late-breaking story in the world of entertainment. Leonard Nimoy, most well-known for his role as Spock in Star Trek, has passed away at the age of 83. Nimoy is a cultural icon whose influence was profoundly felt both for his work behind and in front of the camera, and he enjoyed a long career that reached far beyond Star Trek into the world of animation and video games. He will be missed, and to everyone I say, please live long and prosper, everyone.